Hello, this is Chris from Paltech, and in this video we are going to learn how to create buttons for our site using the WordPress button plugin Max Button. To do that, we need to go over to the head where it says plugins. We are going to click the Mac View, and on the search bar we are going to type Max Button, and this is the one we are going to use: the WordPress button plugin Max Button. This plugin will allow us to create in an easy manner new buttons and custom them, customize them depending. So we are going to click on Instant now, and then we are going to click on Activate. There we go. Now we are going to the left bar once again, and as you can see, we have a new option, Max Buttons, and we are going to take a look at the settings. And we have to some settings. The max button uses level for editing buttons. We can change it here. Hide add button in post editor. Minify button CSS. High description field. Preview in order box mode. Apply auto responsive. And there we go. We are going to move to the top. We have some advanced options that are for the migration of the previous versions for the buttons you have created before. Now we are going to click on buttons. And we have created a previous button here. And we are going to pick a new one. So we are going to click on add new. And we have, as you can see, on the top right, a preview of how the button is going to look as we make it. So we need to take this a bit. So we have the basics, the button name. We're going to create a block button. We can give it an URL here, and we can select so it will open in a new window on no file option and here we can select site content to add the links we have created already so we're going to type below and we're going to select our blog page and we are going to add it as a link and on the button fold tip this text will appear when hovering over the button. We are going to leave that as it is, and we are going to open a preview. And on the text, we are going to type blog. And as you can see, it has changed on the preview. We can select the fonts. You can use the site default or some of the options we have here. The size of the font. We are going to go with 20 and we can make it bold, italic, and select the alignment. And we can add some padding to it as well. And as you can see, if you have the different icons for position, we can change the text color for the button and when it's hovering. So we're going to go with the green and we can change the white. Of the, of the button, as you can see, it changed also on the preview, and we can use pixels or percentage. We can add a brief explanation about where, how, and where the button is used. We can change the radius of the button globally, or we can work it separately. We can select the style of the border dash dot double. So we are going to use an inset as you can see. We can select the border color and on the hover as well. And it's going to change on the preview. We can add some shadow to the bottom if we want. Offset to the leg to the top the blur and the spread of the shell and the border shell color and hover as well 
And for the background, we could use a gradient if we want, or we could use a color, a single color. In this case, we're going to use the green, and on the hover, we are going to leave it white. And we can change the opacity for the normal button and for the hover as well. So we can make it a little bit more faded if we want. So we are going to leave that on the default. And we can also add shadow for the text as you can see and we can change the color the offset to the top to the left and the blood as well and we can create a container around the button which pushes all the content out of the button and we can center the button on the container and give it width in a percentage of px as well and give it some margin on the different direction and the alignment field can help to align the button and other content in the same way because we display inline block or float left and right and for the advanced we could add the important tag to the css style important to the button start and help avoid potential conflict with your team styles and we can use for a custom code or auto plugin to target classes we can give its own class a custom rel tag and use external css warning this will remove all styling on the button so we are going to save the button and we are going to give it a try so we we can also i have forgotten we can add responsive options to our button the internal name of for this screen which is optional and we can select a preset for the different resolution or we could add our own resolution here and we can hide the button in the set resolution so we are going to see if the button works so we are going to the name of the site and we are going to click on no before that sorry i forgot to we are going to click on buttons now we are going to copy as you can see the short code of the button like this so we are going to hold the left mouse button and we are going to drag across the short code like this we can copy any of this and we are going to click on copy and now we are going to the top name of the site and we are going to click on visit site this time for real and we are going to click on edit with elemental There we go. Now we are going to scroll down to an open section like this one, and we are going to type on the widget search bar text. And we are going to click with the left mouse button, hold, drag, and release on the open section. And here on the text, we are going to hold the left control and press the B minus to copy the short code of the button as you can see and it has added the button we have created to the text and we could add it to anywhere we want so we are going to save those changes we're going to the lower left and clicking on the update button there we are so that's it we have learned how to create buttons for our site using the max button plugins in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might have on the sites. See you the next time on Palitech.